Hello and welcome. For this video to work, you'll need to drop a like and subscribe. I'm kidding, but please like and subscribe and no children in the video will be harmed. Okay, thanks. So you're looking to edit an MKV file and Premiere isn't playing very nice with you? No worries. We'll make Premiere, well, Premiere again. Here's our MKV file, as we can see by the file extension. Make sure you have view extensions on in Windows for you to be able to see this part of the file name. Uh, view, options, view, and then uncheck hide extensions for known file types. Um, I've already got it unchecked. I'll leave it alone. Uh, that'll allow you to see the uh, .mkv portion or the .mp4 portion or any other file names throughout your system. I'm not sure why Windows wants to dumb down its users by hiding this by default. Anyways, the program we're going to use is a VLC. And if you don't have it installed, then go download it. I'll try to put a link in the description below. I'm sure there's plenty of converters out there. Some probably work great, um, but maybe some load bloatware, malware, and other such extra softwares and settings. Maybe, maybe you can have one of those softwares change your default uh, search page. Well, you don't believe me? Dang it. Maybe to Bing or, or maybe add a fancy cool Yahoo toolbar across the top to slow it down and clutter things up. That'd be pretty good. Uh, but VLC should be capable of converting this file uh, by itself. So we'll see how well it does. Um, so go ahead and open up your VLC application if you haven't already done so. I got mine here. So click on media, go to convert. And it looks like you could also use the shortcut control R, which I'll I'll do that just to try it out. OK, I just run a test, so I've already got my uh, MKV there. But you can uh, add and then browse or you can drag and drop. Now you can click the down arrow. What we're looking what were we looking to do? Yeah, that's right convert not religions but file types so so we can spoon feed adobe premiere and pureed baby videos because it's too little to be able to ingest such a complicated file as an mkv i'm kidding and uh, you could also just you can also click the butt convert save but i was just letting you know there's more than meets the eye Brian Farmer settings look pretty good it's pretty self-explanatory there we can click browse to send out our destination file uh, so now let's just look at the options real quick. We've got the drop down box. And if there's any problem with your conversion, I believe these are the settings that you're going to adjust and fix uh, whatever your problems are. I'm going to go ahead and leave it uh, at the very top. Just this H.264 with an MP3. Let's go into the gear, the wrench. Uh, we got our encapsulation, our video codec, audio codec and subtitles, video codec, resolution filters, audio codec. I'm just going to keep everything default. Click start. And that's right, VLC just crashed. Let's go open her back up real quick. So if I remember, it's Control R. We can drag and drop. Uh, convert, save. We get our options. I don't want to transfer it to an FTP. Please go away. Browse to our destination. There, I'll call it ASDF. Click Start. And this is what we're looking for. Just the progress bar down at the bottom. Uh, the time it takes to convert is likely tied to the speed of your CPU. So hey, while it's converting, I'll go show you that it can't pull in the MKV file. There's Premiere. There's my MKV file, which is being accessed right now. This is probably not the best idea. Here's VLC chugging along. I'll go ahead and drop it into the project bin. And we get the error message, file import failure, file format not supported. Eventually. It uh, looks like VLC is done doing whatever it's doing, but it keeps tweaking out up here and then saying not responding. I think it's finished, but we do have our M, uh, we've got our MP4 file, which is dropped into the media bin. Processing out here, we'll just drop it in, get our timeline going. And there we go. We've got our video, which has been converted. Now, there is a difference. There's a green bar here that wasn't in the original file. That's exactly two compounds and now it seems that not only made that and the audio isn't synced up so we could either hold down the alt key here and and sync it up okay we're gonna try to fix this really quick uh just the audio through running it through a different profile i'm not sure what exactly the fix is gonna be but uh, let's just see if i can't do a quick test control r drag and drop 
that MKV file, convert save, uh, instead of H.264 plus an MP3, MP4, I don't know, I'm just going to go high def for YouTube, how's that, and we'll see what that is like. VLC didn't fare any better. It's still not responding. Like maybe you have better luck. Uh, but we've got our ASDF YouTube version. Let's see how good that is. Create a new sequence. And now I don't I don't have audio at all. Why is that? Oh, that's 25 is their emissions. Watch now as Trump. So that's actually not better. So. Not coming to the table to. I'm just setting a marking on the video aspect and I'll slide the audio. I'm just using table as the marker. Oh, we'll just adjust this right about there. Oh. Um, please unlink yourself. Thanks. Table to come into the table to, to give us anything back. And that is why this looks so bad. That actually works. So that was just a quick fix. Uh, you know how to deal with a little green underneath. Uh, the YouTube version, um, I'll show you that. Uh, it didn't come out much better. It actually looked like it was worse. So we'll drop that in there. And you see, uh, because it doesn't have the little green uh, audio waveform, that means it's not bringing in audio. There's no audio there to be selected. Uh, but when I play, when I play it, there's clearly audio there. It's just that uh, Premiere is not at. Uh, Pulling that in. One more. I'll go and we'll drag and drop the original, which is MKV. Um, vert and save. We'll pick not WebM. Dot two six five. Dot two six five. And we'll see if that has any more better success. ASDF two six five. Let's see what happens. This clearly is a much slower process. So while this process is, we can just take time to look at the difference between a dot two six four and a dot two six five. You can go to this website or whatever. You got the potential to realize ultra HD two K four K for broadcast and online over the air. Over the air? No, that's OTA. Was OTT over the? You know what? I can go up to 8K and 300 frames a second. So it's uh, more intensive on the CPU as we are experiencing ourselves. So obviously if this was a much bigger file, this is actually a pretty big file. It's 30 minutes. So if this was, uh, you know, it'd still be worth it. If it was two hours, I mean, you'd have to walk away and come back in a couple hours after it had done the processing. It looks like it's actually roughly one to one ratio. So it's a 30 minute video. Um, this is for my specific computer uh, and I got a 5960X CPU. So that's pretty beefy um, with, you know, M.2 SSDs and, you know, tons of RAM. So uh, most people are going to go a bit slower on this, but Intel just released its i9s and I know AMD is always behind, but they've got a, you know, multi-core armada of CPUs are going to hit the market and they're going to have a bit of a, a war there because Intel was sitting on its laurels for a little bit uh, not quite innovating and just using its incrementalization uh, marketing plan where it just, you know, bumps it up, you know, incrementally, but you know, AMD's on the market and it's like, oh, you got cores? Look how many cores we got. But ba bam I think they call it the thread ripper. But I'm going to go ahead and let this all render out. And then, yeah, hopefully it doesn't suck. We're going to go ahead and check the H.265 codec that solved any of the audio problems. Drag it into the project bin. I, I honestly don't even know if Premiere was going to be able to take a 265 file. It looks like it's just perceiving it as just pure audio. Not sure why. 
with what I know at, at the moment is I would go with the dot 264 and I would just adjust the audio to sync that up. And then we would adjust the audio. But, but, but it turned out, it turned out that rather than listening to the- All right, there we go. Uh, hopefully people can utilize this to get around that MKV-ish. So there's some converters here that you can uh, look around for. You're gonna wanna be careful with whatever else it's gonna wanna install. Um, there's an MKV to M MP4. Uh, it looks legit. It actually looks pretty legit. Uh, you're gonna wanna watch out for, you know, make sure your antivirus is on, make sure you got, you know, check out for the, the malware or any of the other uh, bloatware that they're gonna install, like whether it's gonna be search bar crap or they're gonna change your um, homepage and they get tricky about uh, getting you to click on that type of stuff. Don't wanna download for Mac, let's download for PC right there. I'm actually gonna run through that real quick uh, to see uh, what the difference is. VLC is pretty awesome for most things. When I play a recorded Go profile in VLC, I get a lot of stuttering. Uh, when I play it in Windows Media Player, super smooth. Go ahead and run that there. You got to look at these terms. This is where they're going to get you on installing extra stuff. Sure, I accept the terms of the license agreement. Sure. Sure. Usually, if the software offers a buy premium version, then they're not going to put in the bloatware. But, you know, these software manufacturers, the developers have to get paid somehow. And so whether it's through donation, buying a premium membership or adding on malware, bloatware, adware, that type of stuff is going to be able to pay them. Um, but it may do you a disservice. So run Movavi, add a conversion option to the contacts below, send anonymous uses. Hey, aren't you missing something? How about discounts? Nope. Sorry. Good to see you. We have a flash discount for you. Buy the full version today. Oh yeah, so they're offering a full version. Sure, how much is it? It's 40 bucks. Okay, some people will do that. Uh, kind of like the user interface, better than a lot of different converters that I've seen and used. Um, we'll go ahead and take this. I'm gonna delete all this crap here. The MKV, drop it on there. I'm not sure what the limitations of the trial is. Is there a watermark? Is there the amount of times I can use it? It looks like it's just seven days so far. Um, here's our file, no subtitles. It says low volume, edit, okay. It looks like I'm gonna here select what format I want. Pretty decent layout. Here I'm gonna select the destination. I'll just dump it on the diggity desktop or upload to, kinda cool. Looks like you can join files, which is cool as well. A little bit more functionality. Most will go ahead and convert. Oh, look, they're gonna put a watermark on the top of it. A watermark will be added or get activation. You already have an activation key. So as that is processing here, I'm gonna go and check to see if I can find another piece of software that's free because $40 is a lot unless you're doing a lot of these. And wink, wink, I doubt you can find these on torrents, but you're uh, open to uh, a whole bunch of mm, potential viruses and things like that when you start delving into that inner dark webs. So while that's converting, I've found another site. Here's a converter. I'm gonna go ahead and get the free trial. This is from acrock.com, acrock.com. So here's the AC Rock HD video converter. Here's the one that's converting as we speak. Got a similar look to them. Uh, this file is actually being used and converted, but we'll drop it in there. We'll send it out to the desktop. And human cost looks like it converted. Uh, let's go ahead and play. what we get there's our watermark we could be convinced by an ad in the new york audio is perfectly synced up there's no green line down at the bottom oh wait oh that water oh the watermark goes on and off it looks like so, All right, so that definitely would ruin any video that you wanted to try to convert. We're not going to pay $40 for Movavi. Go see what Acroc HD can do for us. Dropping that MKV there. Uh, it's going to the desktop already. Go ahead and convert the watermark. Oh, and this too is going to put a watermark. 
though. How much do they want for that? So they too want 40 bucks for their converter. So I don't know, you're gonna have to search around to find software that allows you to convert for free. Again, you can go deep onto the interwebs and I do not suggest that, wink. And yeah, the best way to do it right now, if I needed stuff is I'm gonna go the VLC route and I'm gonna get rid of the green line at the bottom, maybe tweak with the profiles, maybe tweak with the settings. Maybe I can figure that out. I can adjust the audio. Um, as it stands right now, VLC is just the way to go for me. I can get rid of the green line and I can sync the audio up. Not a big deal. I don't need to do that to a lot of videos or files and uh, I'm good to go with the VLC and it's free, open source. Good to go. Uh, I hope this was informative. Uh, I want you to just in case um, you didn't subscribe or like or comment or share, I want to let you know that children may be hurt because of that. And and it, you still have an opportunity to save the kids. I want you to save the children and I want you to uh, comment, like, subscribe, share and all that nonsense. And I will be sure to put out another terrible video in the future. Have a good day.